This is the iRocker all around 11 unfolded. So this is the accessories that you get minus the electric pump over there. That does not come with it. But instead of showing you guys me just pumping away on this board on the manual thing for like 10 minutes, instead I'm going to show you what the electric pump does and why you should get it. So as you can see the accessories include the fins, paddles, ankle leash and then of course the bag over there who is the iRocker 11 all round board for well before we actually begin I just want to state that we're actually at the Nicomaco River right here in Surrey BC but the iRocker all round 11 is for taller people um, or bigger people that want a really stable board it's for beginners and intermediates alike or people who actually want an upgrade board from a previous inflatable board that's a little cheaper. It's also good for excursions. So like you could probably even do multi-day excursions with it. There's tons of deck rigging as you can see right at the front and the rear. So I mean that's plenty for backpacks. I mean, water bottles, dry bags, anything you can really name. I mean, I'm sure you could probably get some camping stuff in there as well. But most of the time, these boards are used for day trips or just for a couple hours. Some of the things that the iRocker All Around 11 can be used for include fishing, sup yoga, casual paddling, as well as having more than one person so it's definitely good for having a child on as you can see there's those little handles right there that the child can just grab onto also good for excursions the specs on the eye rocker all around 11 is that is 11 foot board it's 32 inches wide the maximum weight capacity is 435 pounds and it weighs 26 pounds now it is made of triple layer military grade drop stitch material which will go a little bit closer and it is meant as an all-round board for mostly solo paddlers but like i said it's High maximum weight capacity can have two adults sitting on there, or an adult and a child, adult and a dog, etc. When you go on the iRocker website, you may notice that there are actually two kinds of all round boards there's the 10 foot and the 11 foot. So, minus the obvious length difference of the 10 versus the 11, the other differences include the 10 foot being 375 pounds maximum capacity compared to the 11 foot which is 435 the 11 foot is also better for taller individuals and it's, it feels a little bit more stable overall but the 10 foot is good for smaller individuals as it is also two pounds lighter and a bit easier to carry as well now we're going to go through the nose to tail specs of the eye rocker all around 11. now this particular model is actually the new generation 2020 model so it's kind of been the biggest change in the iRocker models because the previous ones before 2020 they looked a little more basic so some of the things are basically you got little d-rings for towing top and bottom as well as maybe for docking you got the handle you have the expanded deck webbing over here, as well as the handles for children or whoever just wants to maybe haul themselves up onto the board. You can see the board has a little bit of wear and tear. Not really tear, but more wear. Basically this board has been used for about a year. So I wanted to show you guys what these boards look like after a bit of use, just because they're not going to look brand new out of the box the entire time. There are going to be some little scuffs, etc. you get. But I mean, overall, 
for a board that's a year old that's been used a bunch of times looks pretty good this of course is the deck pad if you look really close there's little eye rocker symbols on there that helps the water flow to these main channels that helps it be a little bit more of a grippy surface next you have the handle made in neoprene you can also now this particular one does not come off and you have the kayak seat which we have mounted you just simply adjust the straps front one goes there back one goes there and then you can use a, a little kayak blade attachment and it's your own little personalized kayak board you got the 6d rings of course can be used again for the kayak seat but there's other accessories such as like coolers etc and you have these little mounts so you have these at the front and the back these can be used for GoPros, rod holders, drink holders, etc. So there's two there, and then there are two here. One, and then two. Then you have the rear deck webbing. So that can be used for bigger stuff like backpacks. I also do like how there's a, the nose, or sorry, the tail is a little bit bigger, so you can carry a bit more things and also the little ankle leashes are color coded so there are six different colors of the all round 10 and 11s so each ankle leash will be color coded to whatever color you choose so yeah overall iRocker has done a really good job I think with their accessories they've really kind of listened to paddlers and for this generation board, they really stepped it up, I must say. This is the paddle that comes with the iRocker All-Around 11. So you get a closer look. The blade is 90 square inches diameter and is made of nylon. You can kind of see its construction. It's been used for about a year, so this is about what a year's worth of use would do. It's, you know, some scuffs from rocks, etc. It's not always going to look exactly as it does right out of the box. And then this is this part of the shaft. Now the diameter of the shaft is 28.5 millimeters. And then this is the handle. As you can see, there's little foam pieces just right in there. So that helps it float whenever, let's just say you lose your paddle. Very handy to have because you really don't want to lose your paddle. You'll literally be down a creek without a paddle. Now I'll show you how to set it up. Now we're going to set up the paddle. So we grab the middle piece. This. You press the button down, slide it in like so. Just go until you hear that clicking noise where it goes up in the hole. Next. Use the handle. So you slide this part out like so. And then you'll see that there's these little divots here. So this part has to be go with these divots. Down like so. So you find the correct height for yourself. I like to go about here. Now the paddle itself weighs 1.8 pounds and it goes up to 84 inches so this I believe is the tall set. Next I'm going to show you the kayak setup. So please slide this guy off like so. so then you attach the kayak attachment. So make sure the divots face here. And this blade is also made of nylon. Now you have a kayak setup. So now we have just climbed on top of the iRocker 11 all round board. And as I'm paddling, it's, it's pretty steady, I must say. It also tracks very nicely, like each paddle stroke I do, it's just nice and smooth. You can kind of see as well, the nice um, 
vegetation in the clear water. You can see little flatfish just swimming around doing their thing. So overall, right now in wavy water, this actually feels like a pretty stable board. Like here's a stability test. Pretty good. Now, before we get to more shallower water, let's just do a sweep stroke. Okay. That's pretty good. I never really felt too unsteady when doing it. The only thing is I did feel that it was a little bit delayed. Like I had to put a little bit more effort to do a full sweep stroke. But I mean, other, otherwise, you know, it's pretty good. Like I feel very stable just paddling on this board. Uh, overall, yeah, I rocker 11. Really good on water performance. I do like the glide of the board as well when you're just paddling in these little waves. Now we're gonna go over what I liked about the iRocker All-Rounder 11 and what I disliked. So in terms of ratios of like to dislike, there's a lot of things I really actually liked about this board. Love the storage that's available on the board with the front deck rigging. And then of course the rear deck rigging. I also really like the tracking of it. When I was paddling in the water, I could feel that this thing just tracks, goes in a straight line. It, it feels pretty good in the water and it's good for a whole bunch of different types of conditions. I also really like the accessories that you can add to this board. So it can be anything from eye rocker speakers to rod holders, cut mounts. I mean, just look at the website. There are so many things. It's like too many to list. And especially too many for me to remember, that's for sure. I also really like the design of the board. The design is really sleek, I find. Um, the 2020, 2020 board did a really good job in terms of the design. And also you could choose between the six colors, which is also really good. One of the things I will say though, is that because it is white, you do get a little bit of scuffs. Like I'll kind of just show you. Like right here, you can kind of see a little bit of a mark, some marks here. So especially with white boards, make sure that you rinse off and maybe do a very light little scrub on it. But even still, they're all, there's bound to be marks that go onto it. You can also even see even here, it's a little bit of black marks. Some of the things I disliked about it, now that I'm getting pretty nitpicky when I say dislike, because like I said, there's a lot of things I liked about it. But what I disliked was maneuverability is a little bit harder to maneuver on the 11 foot board. 10 foot board would probably be a bit easier just because it's an, a foot shorter. And then of course, just as I kind of mentioned, the white as well kind of scuffs a bit, but you can get different colors. So yeah, overall though, really good board. Um, it's not the lightest board around, it's 26 pounds. And I will do a little comparison with the Nixie Newport to kind of show you the weight difference and two very, two brands that are very comparable. Do some quick little comparisons on them. Now we'll do a little competitive comparison between the iRocker All Round 11 and the Nixie Newport G4. So as you can see, the profile of these boards is actually a little bit different. You could see that the Nixie has a little bit more of a surfboard type of profile. Well, the all round is more of like a longboard type of profile. You can also see a little bit of the height difference as well between the two here. So the Nixie is a 10, six, 10 foot, six inches. The iRocker is 11 feet. Surprisingly, looking at this Nixie at its widest base is 33 inches. 
law or sorry width while the eye rocker is 32 inches nixie actually is a little bit thicker if you can just kind of see the side by side profile here just by a slight amount but not a huge amount so some of the things i prefer about the nixie newport g4 is that it's lighter it's actually six pounds lighter so you just pick that up let's see compared to the eye rocker it's a little bit heavier yeah you can feel the difference there i also do like the way the nixie handles waves a little bit more it has a little bit of a slighter rocker to it. And I do also kind of like the darker design of the Nixie because it doesn't get as dirty. And it actually, you can actually track pretty well with this board. Now, some of the things that I prefer with the eye rocker is first off, if you look, there's more storage. Like, you look at the front, where the bungee is, way more storage to put things. Nixie is a little bit more for like a day paddle. Then even if you go to the back, storage is about the same at the back. So some of the key differences is Nixie does has an, have an extra little mounting point over here. And the Nixie also has less D-rings. Overall though, the Nixie is actually my board. The iRocker is my friend's. I do personally, I've paddled both boards. And I do kind of like the Nixie because it has a little bit better secondary stability while the eye rocker has better primary stability. Meaning whenever you're on the board, you feel a little bit more, let's just say there's less play on the board when you're on the eye rocker. While when you're on the Nixie, there's more play, but it also feels like you have a little bit more um, error. You have a little more play to go whenever you're balancing on each side. Next, we're just gonna compare the accessories very quickly. So as you can see, this is the Nixie bag and the paddle. This is the eye rocker paddle and the bag. So I do want to note that this is the 2020 generation of eye rocker versus the 2021 generation of Nixie. And that the eye rocker bag does have wheels now for this year. But as you can kind of see, Comparing at least these two bags, I definitely give the edge to Nixie. Uh, the wheels alone is very worthwhile. I also kind of like how the bag is. It's a little bit more. You can put more stuff in there. Like this is a whole compartment. And then the handle is padded, which is actually really nice as well. Compared to, or you get up to about this much in storage and this is just pretty much the whole bag handle not really padded at all so a little bit sore on the hands we flip them over excuse the grass you can see Nixie definitely has a lot more padding as well so it's more of like a hiker type of bag while eye rocker not as much padding on it per se next we're going to talk about the eye rocker all around 11 warranty and money back guarantee so the eye rocker 11 has a two-year warranty and a 60-day money back guarantee so overall this is actually one of the better ones within the sub manufacturers which is good I will have a little special note here though. This particular board was ordered on the Canadian website during COVID in 2020. So there were some delays, but I don't think it is always like this just because COVID really just threw a wrench and everything. So do I recommend the iRocker all around 11? 
I say absolutely yes. This is definitely one of the better high-end boards. This along with the Nixie Newport G4. I'd say two very good board manufacturers. Um, this one is made a little bit more for touring purposes per se. You have a lot of bungee storage. It tracks pretty well in the water. Um, maneuverability is pretty decent. It's not the best, but it's still good. Lots of accessories you can add to it. The fins are very easy to install. So for me, a resounding yes for the iRocker all around 11.